Hi then guys, I'm just introducing to you the English lessons for this week. Um, looks a bit unfamiliar to you. This is my son's room. Jellyfish hanging from the ceiling. Loads of cool logo, but I will try not to be uh, distracted by all that and just crack on with what I'm meant to do. So as I said, this week's English lessons are all based on um, this book called Short, which is a book of very, and I mean very, short stories and we're going to learn about them talk about the genres look at some of the writing styles predict some endings do some reading comprehension loads of stuff over the next few weeks to be honest with you um so as you can see short thin book yet somehow loads of stories in it tons of them one's called ghostesses Ooh, so we've got some might be a spooky one perhaps the Hook, Pole, Talk About Short. So there's a whole variety of stories with different genres in here. Um, if you want to, at this point, you can pause the video, have a look through the first part of today's document, and it's got a list of all the contents. You might see if you can discuss it with someone, what genre you think they might be. Fancy story, funny story, horror story. So if you want to do that, and I suggest you do, pause it now. And move on to the resources. <laughs> I pretend I was paused. Um, if you're back, I'm going to read a couple of the stories from it now. This one, you'll love it. It's incredibly short. And they talk about short, if I remember before. Page 74. Here we go. This story is called Talk About Short. And you'll see why in a minute. He was alone and in the dark. And when he reached out for the matches... The matches were put in his hand. Ooh. Now you see, that's spooky. If you think back carefully about what I said, first line is, he was alone and in the dark. And when he reached out for the matches, someone put them in his hand. He was meant to be alone. <gasps> spooky. Anyway, I'm going to read the three stories that you're going to be using in today's lesson. So now basically what you're going to be doing, is first of all, when I'm reading through, think about what genre it's going to be fantasy, horror, uh, a fable, you know, the kind of things. Then in the documents, you're going to choose one of the three stories, which are all written out again for you. Check it through and just try and answer some of the reading comprehension questions. That's all for today. Just to get you thinking and started on Short by Kevin Crossley Holland. So this first story is called The Hook. I'll read it for you. Where are we? Though? Page 26. And normally these little uh, pictures at the beginning of the story are called woodcuts. Give you a kind of clue as to what genre the story might be. Have a little think. It was the same most evenings. Sam picked up Becky and drove his wreck to the parking area two miles outside town. There they could play the car radio full blast. They could hang out on their own. It was already half dark when they heard the local news. Escape from Loxley Prison. Convicted for murder. <gasps> Sam stopped dump, drumming his fingers on the tacky steering wheel. Uh, Full-scale hunt is underway, droned the voice on the dashboard. Police are advising members of the public not to approach him. He is extremely dangerous and he has a hook instead of a right arm. <gasps> a hook, said Becky. That's horrible. Horrible, horrible, said Sam, grinning in the dark. <gasps> what was that? cried Becky. She jammed herself against Sam. What? That's scratching. Keep your shirt on, said Sam. This piece of junk's always creaking and groaning. Let's go, said Becky. Now, Sam, quick. If you insist, said Ham, said Sam. <sighs> Sorry, said Be Becky when Sam pulled up outside her house. I just got scared. Uh, you coming in? And then Sam jumped up and walked round the back of the car to Becky's side. And there, hanging from the handle of Becky's door, hanging and still swinging, was a large steel hook. Smoky. OK, so that one here, you probably guessed the genre, but I'll let you go. Next one is called The Hook, oh, sorry, sir, Tommy and the Ghost. Yeah, it seems like it's pretty obvious what genre that would be. Oh, page 76. Mm, 
go. There is the woodcut. That's the picture again. Yeah, it kind of gives you a clue. Tommy and the ghost. Are you sure you'll be all right? Asked the owner of the haunted house. I know what to do, said Tommy. You just leave me to it. Well, make yourself at home, said the owner. And that's what Tommy did. As soon as the owner had gone, he stretched out in front of the fire and finished off the owner's bottle of best brandy. Just on midnight, the clock in the hall was still striking. There was a kind of rustle. And there was the ghost, standing right in front of Tommy. Hello, the ghost whispered. Hello to you, said Tommy. Well, Tommy, uh, how are you doing? I can't complain, said Tommy, but how do you know my name? Easy whispered the ghost. I know names. How did you get in here, Tommy? It's not through the door. I was watching. Through the keyhole. Staff, said Tommy. I don't believe you. But I did. Nonsense, said Tommy. You're too large by half. What next? I suppose you'll tell me you can get through the neck of a bottle. I can and all, whispered the ghost. Never said Tommy. I can then. Prove it. Look, whispered the ghost. Can't you believe your own eyes, Tommy? And with that, the ghost drew itself up and then drew itself down into the brandy bottle. At once, Tommy put the cork into the top of the bottle. He went straight out of the house and down to the river and threw the bottle, plunk, under the middle arch. You drank all my breast brandy, exclaimed the owner of the house. Fair exchange, said Tommy. This house of yours will never be haunted again. Clever Tommy. Tom's a clever, aren't they, Tom? If you watch this video. Uh, one more then, I guess. It's uh, Frost, Sun and Wind. A different type of story entirely, if I can find it. Where are you? Ah, there we go. Page 62. I should have put a post-it in or something, shouldn't I? So I could just flick straight to it. It's more real this way, though, isn't it? it? shows that I'm really doing this. It's a one-take wonder. I'm not doing another one. Here we go. There's the picture. The woodcut. Hmm. Doesn't look scary. Maybe they're not all scary stories. Frost, sun and wind. Soon after, she stepped out of the door. Oh, I'll start that one again. Soon after, she stepped out of doors. The girl came across frost, sun and wind, heading out of the village. Good morning, she said, and she hurried down the lane towards the village school. That girl we met, said Frost after a while. Who is she talking to? Me, of course, said Sun. She knows I could burn her. She was talking to me, said Frost. She knows I could cut her. Bah! Blew wind. She was talking to me. As Frost, Sun and Wind were unable to agree, they turned round and ran back into the village and caught up with the girl just before she reached the school. Who, who are you talking to? they asked her. You, Wind, said the girl. The sun grew very hot. In that case, she said, I'll heat you, I'll fry you. Psst, whispered Wind in the girl's ear. I'll puff my cheeks and purse my lips and wash you to school, uh, wash you with a cool breeze. And then Frost turned extremely cold. In that case, he said, I'll freeze your blood. I'll turn you into an ice girl. Tosh, whispered wind in the girl's ear. Frost is here today and gone tomorrow. He melts as soon as I puff my cheeks and purse my lips and blow. Very different type of story there. What's he trying to tell us? We always get these little pictures at the end. So there you go, guys. Three short, very short stories from a book of incredibly short stories. Um, I hope you enjoyed them. Your task today, obviously, is based on those three stories. They're in your document. You read them through, and then there should be another document, a bit of a grid, to answer some questions about those stories. Type them in there, or... Write them in your book, print them out, take a photograph, send them in to me. From now on, remember, I just want you to turn in the English and the maths. We don't worry about the other stuff, so just two things. Um, hope you get on well with them. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
I'll do a few more. Maybe I'll do some live lessons as well. Good luck with it all. See you soon. Bye-bye.